empties for you today. This, uh, these are all the products that I used up in December. If you are new to empties videos, um, you know, welcome. And let's have a look through my trash. That's really what it boils down to. It actually, actually is one of my favorite videos to film because A, I can feel good about seeing the products that I've worked through. Um, B, I feel like I can give you a lot of little kind of mini reviews in one video. So yeah, anyway, that's what an empties video is if you are new to them. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. All right, here we go. Let's see what I've used up. And I do these really in no particular order. I will just kind of pull things and go through them. So very quickly, I will show you here. These are the mascaras that I went through. And I did a Mascara Madness on these as well. I think I have all of them pulled. I feel like there might have been more than four. I think there was a tart as well. Yes, there was a tart. <laughs> so I uh, Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and... Um, Holy Grail Mascara, of all mascaras, Holy Grail. I have two Holy Grails in here. Um, this is my Holy Grail Drugstore Mascara, and it is the CoverGirl Professional Super Thick Lash Mascara. Really love this. I will link that Mascara Madness video below. Um, in case you guys don't know, like maybe you skipped over that video not knowing what it was, Mascara Madness is every three months I go through my mascaras and toss them out and start with new ones, and I go over the ones that I've used. So anyway, the both of these love. This one, this CoverGirl Lash Perfection, I really liked this as a layering mascara, but I don't think it's available anymore, so there's that. And then the Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge, actually, absolutely was zero smudge. Good for lengthening, not so much for volumizing. That's the short, the long and the short of those. Okay, let's get into some, well, let's just get in. You know what, this is something that's different that I've never shown before. I'm telling you, I think I swear by these. <laughs> This is the first um, vitamin C sort of thing I've ever... These were gummies. I take them one in the morning, one at night, and when I knew I was going to be around a lot of germs, like for the youth gathering that I was at, I was taking one like every couple of hours. <laughs> you know, just pop a gummy. Why not? And I have... crossed my fingers and knock on wood. <laughs> I have not gotten sick, so... I swear by those. I'm continuing to take them twice a day. Can you say you swear by something if you just started doing it? I don't I don't know, but I am. Okay, the next thing, and I will save this for my Back to Mac, is Mac Fix Plus. Love this. I use this almost every single day for a couple of things, either the very last step to kind of make everything sort of meld together on my face, or I use it for applying pigments and that sort of thing. You use the tiniest bit for that, but I do use it for both, so that's what that is. By the way, I am... I gotta put that over there. By the way, I am wearing my Wisconsin Badger sweatshirt today. I'm filming this on New Year's Day, so again, Happy New Year to you guys. Um, and in just a little bit, we're about to get waxed by Auburn. <laughs> I'm fairly certain we're gonna get waxed. All right. Baby wipes, I used up another one of these. I use the, the ones from Walmart just because that's where I am most often when I'm shopping for that sort of thing. And there's 80 of these that cost $1. And this is what I use at my vanity to wipe off swatches and that sort of thing. So there's that. A couple of bath products are at the top here. And then maybe I'll try to work into some skincare. So this is the Dove Deep Moisture Nourishing Body Wash. This came in a Lure Beauty Box a little while back. And I did really like this. I... I think that if you are not quite as dry as I am, you could get away without using a moisturizer if you use this product. It's really, really nice. It is. It does say deep moisture, so that makes sense. But I liked this. I liked it quite a bit. I would repurchase this. Everything I've shown so far, I would repurchase, by the way. I sometimes forget to say that, but you can usually tell by what I say. Um, <laughs> I would repurchase this in a smaller size. This, I've said before, I get bored with the scent. This was a very clean scent, by the way. Let me... Yeah, just very clean, not, doesn't have any sort of, um, like, fruity or s that kind of scent. Just a very nice, clean scent. All right, this is awesome. This is the Creme de la Camp from Camp Cosmetics. It's body, hands, feet. I only used it really on my body, but I talked about this in a favorites once. What I like about this, it's a very, it's a, like a thin um, consistency, but it doesn't feel like a lotion with a thin consistency on your body. So normally... I, like, I think in my head I always think it has to be a really thick moisturizer in order for it to actually moisturize my skin, but that definitely is not the case at all. This is this was really, really and good. One of the nice things about it was that I ended up putting a sample of the Tom Ford fragrance I had in Santal Blush in it and you know shook it up and it was a lovely scented lotion and I will absolutely repurchase this. Actually, I need to call and get on it. Okay, I knew I had more mascaras in here. I just saw one peeking out. The Rockin' Curves by Scandalize. This was terrible. I didn't like this at all. Not even a tiny little bit. 
Then the YSL baby doll, absolutely loved this one. Again, below. Okay, couple of hair things. And the first one that I have in my hand here is the Garnier Fructis Volume Extend Instant Botifier Dry Shampoo. And I liked this, but I didn't love it. I, If you saw my favorites, I really am loving the one from Dry Bar. Of course, because it's $20. But this one was nice. I just didn't, I don't know, it kind of gave my hair a little bit of a heavier feeling. And I didn't necessarily love that. But if it was, it was one of the ones on my list that I would consider repurchasing again. But wasn't my favorite. Um, I finished up the Redken Pillow Proof Blow Dry Express Primer. So this is, you know, you put a primer on your face, you can put a primer on your hair. And I've talked about this before. I really like this product. I feel like this was a good find for this year. Um, I am actually really trying to use up all of my back stock of hair products. So I will repurchase it, but not... Not soon, not like in the next few months, because even though it's a different product than what I have, I'm just, I need to use some stuff up, okay? All right, the, this one I've been using forever. This is the Suave Moroccan Infused Argan Oil. I use a hair oil every single day, and my favorite by far is the Macadamia Nut Hair Oil, but this one for a drugstore was really good. Now, it's not inexpensive. I believe it's like $13. I think I got this in an Allure, in, in Allure Beauty Box, but... It's not, it's really not bad. Having gone back to the macadamia one now that I've used this up, I can see a little bit of, the, of a difference. I feel like that one's just a little bit more nourishing than this one is, but I think it's a good drugstore option. So keep that in mind. All right, a couple of skincare things I can currently see here. I have, do I have any more of these or just one? I guess not. Okay, this is the Micellar Cleanser and Makeup Remover from Trader Joe's. I like these. For those of you that are um, sensitive to fragrance, these are really fragranced. And these were actually a gift from a subscriber. She sent me a little package of Trader Joe's things because we don't have Trader Joe's here. Um, and I like these. I couldn't put them anywhere near my eyes, though. If I got up close at all, my eyes would get irritated, and the next morning they would kind of have, you know, gunk. But um, I, I think they're nice. I don't know how much they cost because, like I said, we don't have Trader Joe's here. But anyway, um, use those up. Don't know that I would repurchase if I had the opportunity, though, because, like I said, I had to be really careful, but... Um, okay, the Bosha Balancing Facial Tonic. I like this. This is the second one that I've gone through. I am currently using the Camp Cosmetics Toner, and I like that one a little bit better. Um, it seems to hydrate as well as calm my face down. By the way, for some reason, it is really hot in our house today. I think Bob was cold and cranked up the heat a little bit, and so if you can see my cheeks are extra pink, it's because I'm hot. <laughs> And I don't mean I'm hot. <laughs> I mean I'm, I'm warm. And then, so I would repurchase this as far as I do. I really like the product, but currently I'm liking the Camp Cosmetics toner a little bit better. And it's going to be the same story with this. I have used this Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash from Philosophy for years. I want to say three years, maybe. And I do really, I, I repurchased it, repurchased it, and repurchased it in the big, and then I finally went to the big size, and it's taken me forever to use up that one, like the 32 ounce. Um, current, I, I felt like it started to be a little bit too much for my skin, like just a little too, even though the little granules in this are tiny, I just felt like it started to be a little bit too much. So I ordered the one from Camp Cosmetics, and that one, it's a different kind of bead in it. I need to, when I do a review on that, I will find out the information. But the exfoliating thing in that, whatever it is, is different. It doesn't feel like a piece of sand or whatever like this does. It feels like, I don't know, it's just different. <laughs> it so this is a review on this, not on that. And I like that. I just feel like as, my, as I'm getting a little bit older, it's a little too harsh for my skin. Okay, this is the Neutrogena Eye Makeup Remover Lotion Hydrating. I really like this product. I very, very, very much like this product. I think it's a great drugstore option. I had done a video a while back on this one and then like a liquidy one from Maybelline, Clean Express, I think it was. I like this one so much better. I have learned, you know, since having done that video. I have another one of these and of course I have the Bioderma, but for ones that I can get regularly here, love this. Really like that. It was nice to go back to. Um, I finished up, I was kind of spot using this on my face um, in different places when I would get breakouts. I currently use, um, for the spot ones, I use the one from, it's come from Colleen's Roth, Colleen Rothschild. It's the only thing from her line that I liked, or that worked for me. Anyway, 
of the few things that I tried. I did not try the whole lot. <laughs> anyway, so this is the mint julep mask. If you have oily skin, you certainly could use this all over your whole face. It works really, really well. I just used it in different spots when I would get a little bit of clogging, but I use that up. This is another bath thing. Oh, another thing actually from Trader Joe's. Okay. This is the lavender sea salt scrub. First of all, can we talk about how brilliant this is? Boy, I have a lot of things this month. I better, I better stop yapping. Do you see this? Isn't that brilliant? You don't have to twist the thing off in the shower. I thought it was brilliant. Um, and this had a very nice scent to it. I really, I liked the product. And it was a very, very, not thin, very um, tiny granules. Like the one that I use all the time regularly is from Tree Hut, that body scrub. This one was much more fine. The, the crystals or the salt things in it was much more fine. I really liked it and it really felt my skin. You can tell when you use one that has good oils in it that then the water kind of beads off of your skin afterward. This, this was very nice. I really liked that. If I had one around here, I would repurchase it. All right, another... Oh, this I ended up tossing, actually. This is a Cebu, Cebu Beauty Sea Buckthorn Purifying Mask. Um, I didn't like it, and when I went to try it, I didn't love it, I should say, originally. When I went to try it again, it smelled off, so I can't really report on that. Use up another Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. I don't know why I continue to show you this, but this is my favorite deodorant. It just works really well for me. I love the scent. It doesn't compete with my perfumes, but it does give a nice scent, so there's my deodorant. <laughs> I used up uh, Camp Cosmetics Illume. This is the moisturizer that I use. I am still working through some back stock of Elgenist that I really, really like. I'm using that at night and I'm using this in the morning. When I work through all of my Elgenist, this will be my morning and night moisturizer. I feel like it just works really, really well for, for drier skin in particular and has really over, I've been using it for well over two, three months now, maybe three months really has evened out. I feel like my skin tone is evened out. There's just lots, lots of positives to that, which is why I've tried and then moving on to more things um, within the line. I did throw one mask in here. I've used, you know, a couple other paper masks, but none that were like new to you guys. So, but I wanted to talk about this. This is the Sicily Express Flower Gel Hydrating, Toning, and Firming Mask. I just had a sample of it. I used it actually just um, last night. I think last night. And while I do feel, it says that it hydrates, that your skin should feel hydrated, velvety, and toned. I don't know about toned. I felt like it was a little bit more hydrated, but you're supposed to put this on, let it sit for three minutes, and then just wipe off the excess. The smell of this just turned my stomach. I, I sucked it up, and I didn't wash it off, though I wanted to, but, ooh, buddy, I did not appreciate this at all. The smell of it, anyway. How it worked was fine, but I would not purchase it, and it's Sicily, so I'm sure it's quite expensive. All right, I have a hairspray in here. This is the Big Sexy Hair Get Layered. This is fine. <laughs> this is not one that I'm, I seem to be really picky. I mean, like if it's not Tresemme, I seem to not be interested. But I could use this when I would be like, when I would put curls, like bigger curls in my hair and then kind of spray it to, you know, just kind of let them set before I, I you know, like put my fingers through them. Or if I tease a little bit and wanted to spray something. Like so what I call this is a good working hairspray. This is not a good hold hairspray. It even says, it says flash dry thickening hairspray. I don't know about thickening. I just, like I said, that's kind of how I used it and worked through it. And I didn't love it and would not repurchase it. This is the Arm & Hammer Truly Radiant. This is my, is it turned into a Holy Grail toothpaste? I mean, who has a Holy Grail toothpaste? Apparently I do. So I really like that. I continue to repurchase it. This is kind of random. Because the rest of the stuff in here is, I think, one sample and then makeup. This is the Bath and Body Works in Gelato. I don't know if this was limited edition or not because I can't keep up with it. But what I loved about this is that there was raspberry in it. So it actually says a creamy, sweet blend of raspberry and strawberry with an effervescent sponge sugar finish. Becomes the perfect fragrance indulgence. Bravo, bravo. Really liked it. Very sweet though. It took me a long time to go through because I could only have it lit for a little bit, but it had a really nice throw to it as well. So that is that. Then I, I have one kind of hair sample and then we have, I have some makeup. This is the Dry Bar Texas Tea Volumizing Shampoo and Conditioner. I only used each once, but no ma'am. I did not like this at all. I didn't feel like the conditioner, I didn't feel like the shampoo cleaned my hair at all, and I didn't feel like the conditioner conditioner. Whew! We will pass on that one in the future. Okay, a couple of makeup things. The first thing that I actually tossed out because it's just, it's not good. It's the CoverGirl 
um, what is this actually called? Simply Ageless Foundation. I, I really love this, but mine has just dried out and it doesn't smell funny, but I couldn't really get it to apply properly anymore. I would repurchase this in the future after I've gone through many more, many more mascaras, many more foundations. I did like that, just not, not going to purchase it. Oh, this actually isn't a makeup thing, but I went through another of the Bench Nabal Cleansing Balm. This is my absolute favorite way to clean my brushes. And I will say this, for those of you that are like me that used to use the, or that use the Masters Brush Cleaner, I think that Masters Brush Cleaner was bringing dye out of my brushes that weren't having dye brought out of them before. I don't know for sure, but since I have switched over to using this and only this, uh, I don't seem to have that issue anymore. Just saying, I could be wrong. And I save these and use them for things because it's a great reusable little product. Okay, uh, this is a makeup that I have, this is on my list and I have a product updates coming actually, I don't know, in a few videos. But this is the Too Faced Endless Summer Bronzer. I have used and I've used this up, in my opinion. That is used up. I can't get my brush in there without attempting to kind of damage the brush, so use that up. I scraped all of this out, and yeah, I did actually use what was last of it. This is the It Cosmetics Number no. 5 Serum, Serum Collagen Veil Anti-Aging Primer. Why It Cosmetics with the really long names? Uh, really, really like this. Absolutely would repurchase it. I'm going through all of my, I have lots of little mini primers. I'm going through all of those, um, before I repurchase this. And I did actually just repurchase a drugstore one that I love that I wanted to have it in hand for my 2014 favorites videos, but absolutely would repurchase that. Another foundation that I went through, and you can kind of see maybe that I got, was able to scrape all of, as much as I could out with my beauty spoon. This is the Rouge Bunny Rouge Time Defying Age Foundation. Love this. This is great, particularly in the winter. It's really good on, on drier skin. This Mine is in number 52 Quinoa Cream, which is a perfect match for me. Perfect match. So use that up. I went through another of my Lilash. This is what I use for my lash serum. And I use it maybe once a week, twice a week, something like that. But that was after getting my eyelashes in good condition after using it every day. Then I switched to like once or twice a week. Really like it. I'm still able to get it actually a couple of places. I found out even a place in town sells it. So that's good. This is the Hourglass Mechanical Gel Eyeliner. I liked it, but I won't repurchase it. This, I did a saver splurge, which I will link below if you want to check that out. On this, there's not enough product in here for as quickly as the Marc Jacob ones work just as well, if not a little bit better. It's not the teeny tiny precise tip, but I can work with it and you get more product. So, and then the very last thing, I just stuck this in here to kind of share the funny story with you. Um, when my niece Maggie was over for Thanksgiving, I think it was. Yeah, she, we were, I, my sisters in law were in here trying on lipsticks and stuff, and she wanted to as well. So I gave her a lip balm, and then I had to go handle something in the kitchen. And the next thing I know, I saw her, like, carrying this around with this twisted all the way up and no product. And whew, I was like, hey, Grandpa, how about you go find out where the lip, <laughs> where that lip balm went? It ended up being up in the top here. So I really like this. I was sad that, that it was no longer usable, but it was the Pretty Smile Nourishing Honey Lip Balm. But I thought I would share that story with you guys. I shared it on my vlog channel, and everybody seemed to get a kick out of it. That is the end of my empties. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that it was helpful in some way to you. On my eyes today, my main lid color, I have the Bare Minerals Loose Shadow and Snazzy, which still remains one of my favorite shades. In the inner corner, I have a little bit of Stila Kitten. In my outer corner, I have the Avon Single Shadow in Black Brown, which looks like that. On my very pink and warm cheeks today, I have the blush from the It Cosmetics Vitality Disc right there. I did not put any highlighter on today for some reason. And then on my lips, I have Spice Lip Liner from MAC. And over the top of that, I have the Camp Cosmetics Lip Lava. And this is in 60137, which happens to be the zip code of where they are located. All right, I think that is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm wishing you the happiest of New Year's, and we will talk to you very soon. Bye!